Hey Cancers, welcome back. So here we're about to do a general reading for your sign, okay? This may or may not resonate with everyone. Just take it how it applies to you if it does, all right? So we're gonna go through your main energies first for you and your person, then we'll clarify as well as for your advice messages from spirit at the end, all right? So Cancer, you've got the Queen of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Knight of Wands, sorry, the King of Wands. And what's grounding this is the Page of Swords. So it looks like there's this connection that some of you are dealing with where um, there's a part of you that really does kind of want this person or you're very drawn and attracted to them. You may even love them, okay? Or you may, you know, have these moments where you miss them. I do pick up some nostalgic energy here, but I also feel like you're trying to shut this down too, okay? So maybe you're trying to move on from this situation or you could be ignoring this person or just trying to avoid something here or you're dismissing these feelings that you have for them, okay? So maybe you feel like this connection is unhealthy or you feel like it's just time for you to move beyond on this but it is a little hard or there's something that's still tempting you here okay now they've got the six of swords the four of cups and also the page of wands and what's grounding their energy is the two of swords okay so somebody here is feeling like it's time to move on and let this go either you or them all right somebody feels like this is a missed opportunity if you're the one who pulled away or shut down here this person is um they're disappointed by that they are okay especially with the four of cups this can speak about sadness in a way or mild depression or them just feeling kind of down or feeling like um, things aren't going to work out between the two of you. So yeah, either you left or pulled away or they've done this, okay? Especially with the Six of Swords, this represents someone who's trying to move on. However, I feel like they may want to come back around and communicate here with this Page of Wands. Um, they're very attracted to you too. They are, but you may feel like they don't take this connection seriously enough. There could be an age gap here. You may feel like this person is just kind of childish at times. Okay, so um, let's go through and clarify. All right, Spirit, please clarify the uh, Queen of Cups. Also the Two of Swords and the King of Wands for Cancers here. Clarify the Queen of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the King of Wands for Cancers. So you've got the four of pentacles. Yep, some of you, you're holding back from them. Um, although subconsciously, there's a part of you that's still holding on because this is someone who kind of doesn't want to lose something or it's been hard or difficult to let this go. But I feel like you're trying to resist this. You're not opening up, no. Nope. Um, we've also got the tower. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Now, I don't know if you guys have gone through a tower moment, meaning like an argument or a disagreement or falling out or just a flat out ending here. But... It's something about this connection that does make you a little bit uneasy or maybe even kind of stressed out here, okay? And then you've also got the Four of Cups. So yeah, at one point you really did want this, okay? But you're starting to feel like this is a missed opportunity for some reason. Maybe it's a third party. Maybe they're already connected to someone else or you're just feeling like things aren't gonna change or you're not gonna get what you want out of this situation. So you're kind of like, what's the point in me continuing to put an in effort into this, okay? I feel like somebody might be spying though or watching um, or stalking here, maybe online. I don't know if it's you or them, but it does look like someone's still keeping tabs on this connection, okay? Spirit, please clarify the Six of Swords, the Four of Cups, and also the Page of Wands for Cancer's person here. Clarify the Six of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Page of Wands. All right, so... We've got the higher offense. Some of you, this person's already married. Yeah, this could be a third party. This could be a Taurus too that some of you are dealing with. Doesn't have to be. It could be any sign. I also see Capricorn and Pisces here, but um, this is someone who might be a little bit stubborn or rigid, stuck in their ways, don't want to compromise. They always think they're right, okay? And then we've also got the King of Wands. So they're still drawn, you know, drawn and attracted to you as well. But some of you may feel like this is just a uh, sexual connection or it's something superficial about this person, okay? You feel like they don't really keep it real with you. And then they've also got the Page of Pinnacles. So they do want to offer you something here, okay? But you may feel like it's not enough. All right, Cancer. Somebody here does want to communicate but these are very small offers or um, you may feel like they kind of breadcrumb you or hold back or that they could do more, but they choose not to. All right. Spirit, please clarify the Four of Pentacles, the um, Tower, and also the Four of Cups for Cancer. Here. Clarify the Four of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Four of Cups. 
right, so you've got the Three of Swords. Ouch, damn. Some of you, this has been a very painful connection here. It has a lot of disappointment, hurt feelings, okay? And again, third-party energy. So yeah, it feels like this person has kind of let you down. Maybe that's why you're holding back. Some of you, this is an Aquarius, okay, with the star card being here. So I'm seeing this two ways. Some of you, even though this person has... um. Sorry about that noise. But anyway, even if this person has kind of hurt your feelings or disappointed you, it's like you still have hope and faith in this that things can work out, okay? Because you love this person. Now, others of you, I feel like you're healing. Yep, you're getting over this, okay, Cancer? And then we've also got the Page of Wands, okay? So I feel like um, you're just trying to approach this situation from a more lighthearted type of uh, energy here. So I feel like you're not really wanting or allowing this person to get underneath your skin, even though they have kind of, you know, upset you a little bit here with the Tower and the Three of Swords coming out. This is you just um, kind of wanting to just go with the flow, okay? Focusing on yourself, your future, your personal goals. However, this can also speak about communication, all right? So I feel like you don't want any drama with this person. You might be open to talking to them, but to be honest, I feel like you're still going to be kind of holding back. Yep. So let's go around again. Um, Spirit, please clarify the uh, Hierophant, the King of Wands, and also the Page of Pentacles for Cancer's person here. Clarify the Hierophant, the um, King of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles for Cancer's person. Right, so they've got the queen of cups okay some of you <clears throat> excuse me this could be another water sign another um cancer scorpio or pisces but this does represent someone who has feelings okay so this person they do have love for you they may even be in love with you all right cancer i don't know but um i feel like they're trying to um protect themselves to some degree here as well okay with the nine of wands this is someone who's kind of defensive and um you know maybe stubborn a little bit this is also someone who's on the verge of giving up, but something is telling them to keep trying here, okay? Because they may want a second chance with the world card. This can speak about a new beginning, all right? So um, that's that. We're going to go around again, and then I'll pull your advice messages, okay? Spirit, please clarify the um, Three of Swords, the Star, and also the Page of Wands for Cancers here. Keep in mind, guys, that, you know, if it's not the whole reading, it might just be bits and pieces that resonate with you. And if it does, feel free to get in, uh, get in the comments and let me know. All right. Spirit, please clarify the um, Three of Swords, the Star, and the Page of Wands for Cancer. All right. So you've got curiosity and it says, I spy on you. Maybe you know, maybe you don't. Well, some of you, um, I don't know if you're literally like watching them online or it could just be that you're curious about them. Maybe you want to talk to them. Maybe you're wondering what they're up to. However, others of you um, are trying to detach, okay, because we do have cold and it says insensitive, detached, and emotionally, un emotionally unavailable, okay? So yeah, this is you pulling away or maybe you feel like this is how this uh, person was treating you. And then we, we've also got reconciliation and it says, I want us to get back together or at least maintain contact, okay? So yeah, some of you, maybe you do miss this person even though you're not really showing it. Somebody here wants to um, at least communicate, all right? Spirit, please clarify the um, Queen of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the World for uh, Cancer person here. Clarify the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the World card for Cancer's person. All right, so they've got chains, and it says, no matter how hard I try, I can't seem to break free from this connection, Okay. So some of you, um, they may feel like it's hard to let you go. Yeah, even if they haven't been talking to you, they still feel this um, pull towards you, especially with that King of Wands being there. All right, but I feel like this uh, connection could have been very toxic for some of you, okay? Now we've also got regret and it says, I wonder where I went wrong or what I should have done differently. Yeah, so this person might be, you know, feeling sorry or remorseful about something or how they treated you. And then we've also got fronts and false masks and it says, I might act like I don't care, but the reality is that I still want you, all right? So that's what came out there, Cancers. Now we're gonna pull some advice messages for you guys, okay? Spirit, please show me three advice messages that you wanna say to Cancers. Um, this may pertain to this connection, you guys, these messages, or it could just be general advice that Spirit wants to say to you tonight, okay? Just take it if it applies to you. Show me three messages that you want to say to um, Cancers here, Spirit. What three messages do you have for Cancers? 
All right, so we have surrender to the beauty of the natural world. And it says, take a relaxing break and spend some time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. All right, we've also got surrender your attachment to results. And it says the formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen. Then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it, all right? And we have surrender to divine timing, and it says sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow, all right? So that's what came out, Cancers. If this resonated with you guys, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe, all right? And also be sure to hit the bell notification as well. That way you're aware of when I upload new content, all right? Wish you guys the best. Take care.